This is Keepsakes, the podcast. I'm Jay Agonoy. Hey guys, it's episode 27, if I'm not mistaken. We've just had three interviews straight. One with Jay Melagito of Anime Pilipinas. Two with uh, Gary Montejo from Cebu. He's a cosplay event buzzer. And now, episode 27, we are going back to our Yuri roots with our friend, Serena, from the Lilikat. Mayong, uh, mayong gabi eh. O oh, mayong uh, ago na dyan kasi alas 12, alas 12 may dyan na eh. <laughs> yeah, mayong buntag sa tanan and yes, this is your girl Serena. Uh, Thelilycat.com and also the administrator for Yuri GL Philippines. So, hey! <laughs> Mm-mm. Kamusta? Kamusta? Um, uh, let's, uh, siguro, we'll, ano, uh, we'll get to our casual discussion of Yuri. Kasi ako, of course, hindi po lingit sa kalaman ng, uh, karamihan sa inyo mm-hmm. na I am a, aside from being a slice of life fan, I'm also a, a fan of Yuri. Pero select lang. Yung mga parang medyo may Yuri na tendencies, mga ganun. I, I yeah, actually yeah, like yeah, this yeah. one series called, uh, I actually like this series called Kasisan in the, what, and Blooming Lilies pa yon Yes, you have good taste, and that is a good choice. <laughs> All right. So from there, we will start talking about your recommendations. So, uh, uh, for, uh this is actually our second recording. Uh, our first recording <laughs> was not to, uh, well. Uh, and it was too late for me to tell Serena to have her own backup. So now, we're, while we're doing the call, we're go, uh, we're having backups. And yeah. Uh, yeah, all right. So, uh, th- thank you for your understanding, sir. Uh, talagang uh, mahaba ba tong uh, gabi para sa atin? Nah, okay, yeah, Yuri talk. Mm-hmm. Okay, Yuri talk. What can you yeah. recommend for this guy? Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, your recommendations. Oh my God. Parang. Um. I think. Parang I'm in the. I'm in nostalgia mode because that's usually. Um. Because uh, usually what I have in mind is like yung er- early Yuri manga that I've read back in the day. But anyways, um, usually uh, uh, Yuri mangas ba? Uh, mamaya na yun yung Yuri anime, di ba? Sige, Yuri anime uh, muna tayo. Uh, Yuri anime muna, okay. Well, oh, uh, okay, uh, Yuri anime. For recent... Of course, it would definitely be Bloom Into You or Yagate Kimini Naru. And props to Troika. Oh my God, bless Troika because they really nailed the anime adaptation of this beautiful manga. Oh my God. I'm still actually overwhelmed. Like, parang, alam mo yung feeling, Jaina? I, like, when, actually, I had, like, um, not really expecting much on Bloom Into You when they announced that Bloom Into You is getting an anime adaptation. Like, I was trying to keep my expectations low because I don't want to be disappointed with the same, I don't want to be, I want to, I don't want to experience the same disappointment with Citrus because I expected a lot for Citrus, to be honest. And, parang, it, In the end, medyo nagsiso ako sa anime adaptation. I am so sorry to those who who are a fan of the series, but medyo, um, medyo yes and no ako sa, an- sa anime adaptation in the end. It was good at the first part, but parang wala na talaga sa, ano, sa, sa, like, halfway in the end, like, medyo mena. But anyways, going back to Bloom Into You, yeah, it's, it's really good, fam. I do hope it gets a season 2. Because it really deserves to have a season 2. And, uh, gusto ka ba ng, uh, I don't want to spoil, uh, hindi lang ako magsuspoil ng sobra sa latest chapter, but, yeah, uh, please protect you. She's a precious cinnamon bun. Please don't hurt her heart. <laughs> Ayan lang. Um, yeah, I just actually finished the series. More like I finished from episode 1 to 10 and then I skimmed all the way to, from episode 11 to 12 to 13. Kasi um, from the way I see it, so, uh, siguro episode 10, sabi ko, hmm. Yes. Parang yes. naiinip na rin ako. Eh. Sa, 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 ano, it's, it, it went quite dragging for me. It had it had this feel of dra- ano, me being dragged to something. 
Yeah, I, I actually that, understand mm. that. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, okay, uh, here's... Sum- uh, I, I, uh, mm. Sige, sige, sige. Sige, sorry, sorry. Ayan, sige. To summarize it, I was thinking of this... Uh, uh, kunwari may hawak kong bulaklak na maraming petals. Mm. Instead yes. of saying, she loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. Ang, 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 ang sasabihin ko doon... Do they love each other? Do they not love each other? Yes. Do they love each other? Do they not love each other? Yeah, di ba? Like, uh-uh. oh, my God. Oh, my God, this series. Like, mm. oh, oh, my God, see, I'm actually worried about you, actually. Like, people, the peop- like, some people are just like, they are, they are praising the anime because it's so good or something like that. I'm actually worried about you, but, Anyways, um, I do understand that some people um think that it's dragging, or maybe it's because mm-hmm. of of well, I think Troy uh as as much as it would it would have been good that at least Troika would like skip those uh skip those parts that are a bit dragging, but I think mm-hmm. what they're trying to do is to keep is to um parang gusto nila is yung kung ganyan yung flow yun ng manga, dapat ganito din yung flow natin. So, yeah. I think that's how I, I really say it. Pero, for me, ha, I think it's not really dragging. Or maybe because I've, I've read the manga or maybe because it's just, I'm, I'm just so in my feels to not feel the, to not feel the draggingness. But, yeah. Mm. Either way. Mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. Pero to be uh, to be fair naman this is where I go into the Seiyu rabbit hole listen carefully mm. we have here Koito Yu voiced yes. by Yuki Takada who mm-hmm. voiced Aoba Suzukaze who is part uh, who is a character in the series called New Game yes. in which she is Uh, with Yoko Hikasa, who voiced uh, Ko Kaga, uh, Kagami. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ko Yagami Ko. Okay, Yagami Ko. And yung kasama niya, yung, si, eh, kumbaga, yung best friend and senior supervisor nila, which is Sirin, mm-hmm. is voiced by Ai Kayano, mm-hmm. who, is, who is part of Uh, the cast of Symphogear GX as Kirika Akatsuki. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And Simpho in that... Gear, si- speaking of Symphogear, they are releasing uh, a new anime this year, diba? Nadelay lang ng production. If I remember correctly. Kasi my recent... There was an announcement last year of Symphogear mm-hmm. having an anime in 2018. Uh, I, bet, I, I, I bet it will beat Nanoha into having ma- so many titles because Nana Mizuki Magic. Yes, I know. Like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm st- I'm still I'm uh, on this matter I'm still loyal to the first two seasons. Pero uh, yeah, talaga kasi same, same same same. Uh, kasi para uh, those the oh, oh, the first the first simple gear was the first and second simple gear is was the time that I was so faithful to the franchise. Though the third though I still watch the third and uh, no but Mhm. And you can never you can never forget the first and the second though. Yes. Those were good. Yes, uh, Kanade. Kanade. Kanade, <laughs> which is actually Conan Edogawa. <laughs> yeah. All right. So from Symphogear, uh Symphogear also has this character uh, introduced in GX. Um si ano ba to? Uh basta nandito yun ano, eh. Basta in this cast, Minako Kotobuki was also here. For uh, for that mm-hmm. instance, she was also Sumugi in K-On. Nakasama niya si Yoko Hikasa, who voiced mm-hmm. uh, who voiced this pretty young lady called uh, Mio Akiyama. So uh, from yes. Simpho yeah. Gear, okay, Simpho Gear, Maria Cadenza of Naive, voiced by Yoko Hikasa, who also voiced Mio Akiyama in K-On, which will uh, which also has. Uh, Uh, Mina Kokotobuki as Sumugi mm-hmm. and she voiced uh, na, ano, Nanami Toko from mm-hmm. uh, on, Nanami Toko. Uh, of Bloom Into You which all which has yeah. Koito You as 
di kumbaga parang POV character ba to? Ito ba yung straight mm. straight na ka? Kasi yung straight tapos Ay. ano eh. Right, right, right. Yes. Uh, kumbaga parang ano ba to? Uh, Tsukomi and then Boke. <laughs> she's like in the she's like in the like self discovery mood or so of sort. Mm-hmm. Para, I, think para, can, I, I think I can say that. Oh, para siya siya yung komiko omai ng ano eh, mm-hmm. ng series na to. Yep. Mm, yep. Diba? Mm-hmm. 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 So yun. So that's that's the same rabbit hole right there. Hope you enjoyed it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um so in the case of Yuri anime, I would really recommend Blooming to you. Like, seriously. It's so far one of the most accurate Yuri anime adaptations of 2018. I have I really have to say that because Oh my god. Uh although I would recommend I would recommend Citrus, but it just wasn't really as I expected, I guess. Mm, I'm sorry it turned but, me off. Mm, it, tur- if, uh-huh. it turned me off. The series turned me off. Because um from uh, I I I have con- I, I have concluded to myself na this series will really have it's so much angst in it. Mm-hmm. So, bro, yep. angst and, lang hiya. Yeah, and considering that Saburu Uta, uh, Saburu Uta is wasn't called or wasn't called by fans as Saburu Troll Uta or Saburu Sabu Troll for a reason. She was called that for a reason. <laughs> mm. Kasi, kasi okay, uh, citrus manga lang ng konte like okay. Like, latest Citrus chapter. Everything is going well. Like, like it's, the scene is getting good and then suddenly it click cliffhanger. Cliffhanger to be continued. Okay. Okay, Saburu Uta. <laughs> Parang pangat naman noon. Karas again. Ang pangat naman noon. Yeah, but, um, actually, when people ask me if, what, what, what is really my full or like my whole conclusion on citrus mm. it's uh it's not really something it's not really a yuri series that i would really recommend to starting yuri fans well of course it's going to be picked up sooner or later by 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 some because it's like the the most popular <laughs> the most popular yuri title it's almost like in in yuri it's like a household name i i have no complaints on that fam but Mm, yeah, if if uh, in in regards of recommendations, if I have to choose between uh uh an anime recommendations in Yuri, if I have to choose between Citrus or Bloom into You, I would really pick Bloom into You. Seriously, I uh Citrus is just well, uh, well, it's not that bad. Okay, it's not really like, super bad. It's just okay. Mm. Ayun. So, yeah. mm. so yun. Uh, okay, so uh, aside from Citrus, Blooming to You, uh, have we forgotten uh, the, ka- of course, Kasi-san, for, uh, Unforgettable. Yeah, yan. Kasi-san. Minami Takahashi, Ayani Sakura. Yeah. Oh, so pure. Don't ko nalaman oh, yeah, uh, ang actually, ng pure. I... Uh, why is it called the purest form of love? Di umano ng mga fans. Why, uh, I learned, I, I finally understood that argument from that series. Ang pure? Oh, yes. Uh, actually, I also would recommend the manga as well. Actually, it was. Uh, I don't have the physical copy yet, but mm. hopefully, I'll get it. I'll get it soon. Marami pa kung ibibili na yuri stuff. <laughs> actually, my I'm having an issue on. I have no problems with getting titles with of uh, yuri manga, but. My biggest challenge is space. Jay, wala na kung space on shelf ko. Oh my, oh my God. Uh, I, uh, as much as I'd like to appease you on that, maybe it's time. <laughs> maybe it's time to build, to ano, itanongin mo yung mga kasama mo sa Yuri GLPH kung what do they, ano, what do they, what, what do they like? Baka... You know, actually, I... Like, sell? Sell? Mm-mm. 
Yeah. Oh, wait, what do you mean? I, I'm sorry, Major. Um, sige, Major di ba? I mean, I mean, I mean as, uh, aside from selling, uh, maybe you can build your own uh, library kung ano mang napag-agrihan yun, then people will yeah, read oh, to oh, it. I, uh, kasi kung hindi na kasi yeah, sa'yo, you have I, to put it somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, actually, I, I, hopefully someday, like a few years from now, I might get my own place. Probably I'll have a room Mm. like dedicated for for placing all my books and stuff kasi dumami na eh kasi like this shelf that i have here puno na wala na kung there i have like three books uh, i have uh two books incoming so like i'm i'm still trying to arrange everything on how i'm going to put the additional two but yeah Well, <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, yeah, going back to Kasei San, it was also uh, the anim the the anime adaptation was also good, mm-hmm. and I think they're also releasing a um, I think this year they're also releasing a Blu-ray version of uh there there's this also another blu-ray release for Kazaisan in Japan so if the money permits i might buy it kasi medyo medyo ano pa medyo uh, medyo may medyo sakit sa bulsa pa because i bought the bloom into you blu-ray disc with the freebies and stuff so i think it will arrive most likely This month, I think. So yeah. Mm. yeah. But actually, uh, buying the Blu-ray disc of Bloom into You is actually, I think it's worth really worth it because there's, uh, based on, uh, based on the info that I got from, I know, from a friend of mine, si Suset or si Say, mm. uh, there there are some freebies or exclusive stuff that come with the that come with the B. with the BD set. So, yeah. Mm. I guess it's worth the wait and worth the money, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yeah, um when it comes to Yuri stuff like take my money. Take my money, fam. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Okay. Uh mm. what else? Um Yuri anime, Yuri anime recommendations. Oh yeah, there's also uh Sasame Kikoto. But this anime was aired a very long time ago. If I remember correctly, it was 2008-2009. Parang 2010 in that period. Oh my god, I'm old. It's like 10 years ago? Holy shit! Okay, it's like around <laughs> 10 years ago na. But, yeah, uh, sa, sa manga, it's also, it's also good. The, the, first, uh, the first parts of the manga, like, In the beginning parts, in the first couple of chapters, it's good. But halfway of the series, it just went a bit draggy and stuff. And But uh, if, I uh, know, it's really a test of patience in a way. I have to admit that I put the series on hold on one time. Kasi it, parang it didn't go anywhere actually. But then in the near ending, it picked up the pace and finally it was a good ending. So yeah, it actually the the sorry if ever I'm going to share spoilers but it had a very satisfying ending. Like it's really worth the wait. Though the the series is a bit long, there were like a lot of chapters in it but yeah, worth the wait. Mm. So so what else? Uh what else pa? Mm. Other Yuri anime. Um, let's see. There's actually a lot on my head right now, but uh, there's also uh, oh yeah, the OG. Mm-hmm. Well, OG Yuri, mm-hmm. the OG Yuri series mm-hmm. is nineties Revo Starlight. <laughs> It's the um revol- revolutionary girl Yutena. Mm-hmm. Itena. Mm-mm. Well, like, I think it's, I think they just celebrated their 25th anniversary last year. 
Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Uh, if you're looking for an OG Yuri series to start with, it's it's Yutena. I think she like in. I think she also inspired a lot of series or a lot of references as well. Oh, and of course, I we will never forget. We will never forget. Kanazuki no Miko. Hmm. Kanazuki no Miko. Yes. I think that's a familiar title sa yo, Jay, di ba? Kanazuki no Miko? Hmm. Hmm. Narinig ko na siya mo, mo ano, narinig ko siya most of the time. E, so, uh, yung ano, you remember yung parang, actually had a meme, like yung parang dalawang girls nag-embrace. Yung Miko, em- uh, it's actually known as Miko Embrace. That's where the meme is. Yan yung source sa meme. That's actually still being used in some Yuri fan arts and stuff. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, boy. So, Ayun. So, so mm. yun. Um, well, Ma- I wait, don't wait, really um, consider... Hold it right here. Hold it right there. Magical Girl, Yuri, Mecha. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Yes, you read that right, dear brother. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It has... Well, yeah, it's... It has a guy, but the guy's just a filler. Just pretend he's not there. But there are robots, yes. There's also robots. And then, yeah, there's girls. There's girls. There is... Girls fighting with sword or something. But like, yeah, but... Chikane and Himeko are like iconic Yuri characters. Like, oh my god, I feel I I want to watch the anime again. <laughs> mm. Hold it right there once again. Norika Shitaya, Ayako Kawasumi. Mm-hmm. Wait, they are they are, they are mm-hmm. part of the Fate series, diba? Mm. Uh, if if my memory is Sakura right, and Saber, yes. oh my god. Mm-hmm. Sakura yes, and yes, Saber. Yes. Uh, Sakura oh, and Saber, Saber, my Saber, god. Saber. Ah. Tama, tama. Yes. And also Pikachu I, was here? I, and I, Kana Weda is yeah, here. I, no, Tomami was here. Oh my God. Ito, yes. bigyan uh-huh. mo ako ng copy nito at saka noong nireko nito sa akin na isa earlier in the, ano, prior to this. Uh, sasameki, yung isa na series. Sasa, so, Sasameki Koto. Yeah, yeah Sasameki uh, Koto and uh-huh. Kanasuki. Ayun, yun. Okay, okay, okay. Give me those two titles pag nag tayo ah. I think, yeah, I think uh, wala okay. lang tulogan to. God. Pam, <laughs> yung early flight, early flight ako. But anyways, para sa, para sa ekonomiya. Oh, I para sa ekonomiya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm-mm. So, I guess that's pretty much it for, there's actually, a, there's actually a lot that I would like to recommend. But I think those are the notable ones. So, uh, yeah, just to backtrack, we mentioned, uh, well, uh, excluding Citrus, because I don't really, really, really recommend, recommend it. But anyways, uh, first one is Doom Into You, which recently ended, and highly recommended. And actually, I would also recommend this for those starting Yuri fans as well. It's actually ideal. Then... Also, yeah, Kasei-san and Sasamiki Koto. Mm-hmm. There is also, um, if you're looking for OG Yuri, it's Revolutionary Gold Yutena. And then lastly, it would be, uh, ano, uh, Kanazuki no Miko. So mm-hmm. that's five. Uh, mm-hmm. Five highly recommend titles. Though there are still a lot, there's still a few that I want to add, but these are... Probably highly recommended and good to start with. Uh, honorable mentions would probably be. Oh, why? Uh, oh, my. Maria Sama Gamiteru or Maria Watches Over Us. Ooh. Well, this is pretty interesting. On, on the top of Maria Sama Gamiteru, ah, this series was aired in ABS CBN before. It was aired in ABS CBN before. And I think they, I, I think it was a mistake on their part or something. Because maybe they thought na, 
It's an anime. It's an anime show that teaches girls to to pray for the Virgin Mary. Oh my God, fam! Bakon ng pray to the Virgin Mary yan. Nakaw. Oh my God, fam! That is that is cute, fam. That is cute. Like yes, there are girls in an all girls school. Yes, there is a Virgin Mary statue in that anime. And then they are being so devoted to each other because it's like it's like devoting to the Virgin Mary. Yes, fam, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it it aired in ABS before and I was able to see that. I think it it uh if I can remember the time slot, it was in around in the morning around 9 or 10 a.m. Diba, that's usually the hour, anime hours, time slot sa ABS, di ba? Ah, yeah. Oo. So, yun. Uh, I was, uh, that's, uh, yeah, honorable mention, uh, ano, uh, Maya Sumagamiteru, or it's, it's known also for the shortcut name of Marimite. And, uh, Uh, actually, marami siyang ano eh, marami siyang seasons eh. Mostly, it's, yung mostly yung season 1 lang, mostly ina-air dito. And also, I think also in Animax, uh, it was aired season 1 lang, then season 2 and, well, the OVAs, hindi yan included. But yeah, the other, ano, is, wala na. Um, if, uh, Strawberry Panic also has that kind of aesthetics. If you're looking for a similar aesthetic with, um, with uh, Marimite, and uh, what what else? Um, ah, there's uh, there's also um, Candy Boy. Mm. There's also Candy Boy. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I'll give you uh, I'll give you also a copy of Candy Boy because mm. um, uh, medyo uh. I'm too hyped on co- coffee to explain to you everything about Candy Boy, but yes, it's it it highly recommended too. I'll add it to my honorable mention. But yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it for 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 the year anime. Um, oh no no no, I'm going to include this. Um, uh, Ibike Ibike Euphonium, ah, I but that. I know it's. Well, Kyo Annie is Bait Annie. Bait Annie. <laughs> Kyo Annie, Bait Ooh. Annie. Well, yeah. Uh, speaking of, so, uh, ano, speaking for of. The you're look- speaking of, uh, sorry, speaking of Hibike Euphonium, I was also thinking about Liz and the Bluebird. How was it? Mm. Mm, it's. Uh, oh, well, I have to be very honest with you. Uh, mas na, mas na ano ako sa, sa music, eh. Mas na first. What oh, I I was I have already expectations because this is Kyo Ani, but one of the things that um <clears throat> really captured me the most was not really the plot; it was the music. Mm. First and then the second is of course the 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 Yuri feels and the plot. Yun na pero number one talaga was yung music. The music was really beautiful. Eh. I'm a musical kind of person. Well, well, theater and stuff. But yeah, um, it's actually good. But just uh, it's also a highly recommended mo- uri- uh, movie. Just mm-hmm. if you are in for the Yuri feels, um, just remind yourself that this is Kyo Ani. So yeah, Kyo Ani. <laughs> So yeah, uh what else do you want to talk about in the universe, Jay? Mhm. Actually, actually, actually I think just bring the items and we'll get to an early discussion on Yuri. And dami, ma'am. And dami. <laughs> yeah, diba? Oh, and dami. Uh, uh actually I have to I have to bless 2018 that at least there is there is like There's, it's a yearful year. 2018 was really a yearful year, like from webtoons to manga to anime and 
all the related media there's all there's even this um even sa local uh, even sa local there's also like releases din sa yuri like um i i have to open this up because it's ano it uh, it's local just to let people know there was this uh gl or this uh this lesbian uh, independent film that was released called Billy and Emma. It's from, it's directed by the same person who directed Baka Bukas. It's also, uh, it's also GL, mm. but Baka Bukas was released, uh, I think two years ago or a year before Billy and Emma. But yeah, um, sadly, Yung Billy and Emma, I wasn't able to watch it, but based on the testimonies of of the uh, URGL Philippines uh, admins who and the team who were able to watch the movie, it was all, it was good though. Hmm. And uh, in book releases, um, the notable one is ano. Uh, Ligaw Tingin by Gantala Press. It's like uh, parang compilation siya of um uh para siyang uh para siyang GL comic anthology and it's made by uh, it's made by some artist and it's compiled in one book um it props to Gantala Press that they were able to publish this and uh, uh, the artist pala sa sa book na to are all women mm-hmm. so um so hashtag #women press <laughs> What well, uh, it's actually the what what I actually love about this book is the cover, um, because uh pinoy pinoy na pinoy eh. But I'm actually very happy that at least there's there's this uh ano there's uh something like this is oh is parang published, and actually we even sold this in the URGL Philippines booth back in Cosplay Mania. So yeah. Um, I might be writing a review about it in Lilikat soon, mm-hmm. or it might be released on another Yuri blog. Because merong, because si Erica Friedman even uh, asked me to write a review about it because when I told her she was interested. So yeah. Um. So uh, so sa local, it was also nice that there also like. GL releases on in on the local side. Um so yeah, uh sa sa webtoons, meron sa webtoons din, but um uh webtoons medyo medyo hindi na ako sa sa webtoons because um di ba as I I mentioned to you before in the earlier recordings, Jay, it was uh how do I say this? Um, twenty eighteen was also the also the year where I got back to my first love, which is Yuri manga, mm-hmm. because um, it seems that the GL webtoons has this slow decline, mm-hmm. probably because of related to the issue of this uh, certain um, webtoon platform, uh, Lesin Comic. But yeah, uh, probably we will talk about further about uh, about that later so uh, do you have any uh, anything to discuss about or something uh, to add or, uh, uh, um as much as there's still other series that i would like to recommend on the manga and the webtoon side but for now i think it's best that um what we discussed today is just a summary of everything. Actually, I'm planning to do a. I'm actually working on a uh, countdown of my recommendations. So it's just uh, what we're talking about is just a summary of that, of that, of that everything. <laughs> Yun. So um, if if you want to uh. Uh, on the talks of on the talks of Yuri and discussions of Yuri and Yuri news, uh, the Lily Cat has I I do that on the lilycat.com. You can check that out. And um, oh yeah, uh, for for Philippine Filipino Yuri fans, calling Filipino Yuri fans, we actually have 
a very active URI community here in the Philippines, and that's of, that's of course uh, URI GL Philippines. Uh, we have a Facebook page, uh, look it up, and actually we also have a Facebook group, uh, just join in, and we are currently at 1,400 members, and, the, the, and uh, notice, this is, this group or community is exclusive for Filipinos, so parang, you will feel right at home, in a way, <laughs> so yeah, uh, uh, shout out to the URG and PH team, actually, uh, by the way. So, uh, so don't forget, it's URI GL Philippines. And for actually, yung Facebook page, realize ko, realize ko, Jay, parang mahaba pala yung, yung, yung Facebook name ko sa, yung Facebook name ng the Lily Cat. But just search for the Lily Cat and then just search, just click on the, like that page with the picture of a cat. Mm. Thingy, mm -hmm. like a black cat kind of thing and that's it mm -hmm. all right so yun, uh, yeah yeah is the best i love yuri so much and i look forward to share the love of this genre to to everyone in the community and i look forward to that stash pagdating sa manila pagdating mo dito ha? <laughs> yeah yeah of course um i'll try to add in more but um you have a lot to watch <laughs> all right sige. that wraps up another episode of keepsakes the podcast new episodes can be heard on anchor.fm slash keepsakes apple podcasts google podcasts and spotify you can follow me on twitter at jayagonoy more updates will be posted on facebook.com slash keepsakes by jay Leave your voice messages using the Anchor app available on Google Play and the App Store. Shout out to Lee Rose Bear for the music. Thank you for listening to the podcast and I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.